We are here looking at the sprit sail on our Penobscot 14 St. Jacques. The, uh, we're trying to move this block up at the top. Let me see if this zoom works. For the brailing line, change it over to a smaller block so that it runs a little smoother. The brailing line runs up to the top of the mast out to the leech of the sail, back to the other side, so you can pull down on this line when you want to bring the sail in, also known as brailing. If you're coming in to land or you just want less sail, you can also take the sprit that spar that runs up to the top there, you can also take that sprit out and uh, let the top part of the sail drop down, it's called scandalizing. So this railing line runs down and we tie it off to this little belaying pin here. So we had a little bit smaller block that ran free so that the leech of the sail doesn't get uh, pinched, you know, but we got plenty of wind, it's not an issue. Here's some of our sprit parts we'll talk about. This little line right here goes up the way we did it. it was run it through a little block. Come back down to the little pin on the end of the sprit. And that's called a, a snotter, that line is. And once again, we have that belayed down to this pin on the thwart. Some folks uh, would just tie it to the mast, or maybe they just got a set piece of line, one fixed length, and they just drop the sprit in there and go. And they also, there's been reading that some people, the mast uh, rotates. So, might give you a hair bit more performance, but we're not too concerned about that. Actually, probably a little more concerned with capsizing and having the sail and everything fall out of the boat. So this line also serves the additional function of keeping these parts in the boat if we ever figure out how to capsize it. So had St. Jock out today, rode a little bit, uh, sailed a little bit, played with uh, rudder angles and sheeting angles and centerboard, see what we could do. And uh, Skipper got her to point pretty high. You know, we weren't pointing high, we weren't going too fast, but we could certainly head towards the direction she wanted to get ahead to uh, at a slow rate but uh, mostly this boat's good for she doesn't uh, she doesn't uh, you know beat to windward very well it's more of a broad reach or put her on a run she'll go on day all day on that those angles we also found a uh, haft here playing with the with the sheet for the main that when you're sitting and you're sheeting in sometimes you find yourself pushing down on the sheet a little bit or having the end of the sheet down here which pulls on that bridle a little bit and that pulls on the top of the tiller so if you try to go to raise the tiller to slide underneath it, kind of got competing goals there. So this tiller, I had it tied, or the bridle, I should say, this line right here, traveler, horse, whatever you want to call it. I had it tied looser earlier today, so it came more out to here. So whenever you tried to pull that up, then uh, it was working against you. So I tied it pretty much as tight as I could tie it and still get this up and down play on the tiller that we want. And that's where it's at here. We'll go out and try it again, see if we like it. Another thing we could potentially do, because I mean the plans do have it running through these quarter knees, we added uh, the pins just for dramatic effect and sometimes we can also throw the the sheet around there to get it cheated all the way back to the quarter knee. Otherwise, 
you lose a little bit so we've been playing around with that a little bit also but what we might do next if we decide no we want this back a little further is either move this hole to here and drill a new hole or potentially even put a hole through the transom probably the way uh, Pete Kohler would have done it and just uh, get your piece of line run it through the hole tie a little knot tie a little knot and have it running more back here over the transom but right now Skipper wants to kind of leave that area clear so when she's leaning over uncleating the the up haul and then getting the rudder down the rudder floats because we didn't put any weight in the bottom of it so she needs to reach over and or pull on this little rudder downhaul line and then just uh, jam cleat it down the jam cleats about enough to hold it in place if we hit something it it, it lets loose so we're happy with that then we come back in we just uncleat the downhaul as soon as we do that and there's pressure comes off the rudder it uh, it floats up Oop, sorry about the finger and then we can uh, got another little uh, jam cleat there we can just cleat it off and for when we bring it back up up on the beach when we remember to do that so this is our Penobscot 14 St. Jacques. We built her finished construction and got all the sailing rig done uh, 2017. So today's about the third anniversary of her uh, commissioning. So out having fun with her today and we hope y'all are out having fun somewhere else doing something with small boats.